Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces. You get a Pisces a warnings message reading, general warning message reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Pisces, please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And the roles can be reversed. This can pertain to any area of your life. It could be romantic relationships, friendships, family dynamics, your career, your personal life, work. Really, it could be a situation that you're involved in directly, a situation you're causing, or a situation that someone else is causing. So please keep that in mind. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your continued love and support. I couldn't be here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. I truly appreciate um, all your love and support. I really do with all my heart. If you need or want to get a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. And, um, yeah. Also, Pisces, before I pull any cards, I want to tell you two things. Two, I put on these seafoam green uh, light, pe like pastel seafoam green nails just for your reading, although I'm going to keep them on after. But uh, maybe you're getting your nails done or something like that. But I also got some intuitive um, channeled messages for you as well while I was meditating on your energy while I was actually doing my nails. Um, and they were Bad Company, like the song Bad Company. It's like a rock song. Look that up. But I'll also be careful of the company that you keep or the company that you're working for. There's that. Also, be careful of twisting your ankle or falling down or breaking your ankle or hitting your ankle really hard and spraining it. Okay, so just be careful for any ankle injuries as well. Okay, there's that. Let's see what warning messages we got. So I'm going to pull some of these cards, these tea leaf cards, and then I'm going to clarify them. So let me mix them up a little bit. All right, what's going on for Pisces? Okay, so here's one. Okay, here's two. Okay, three. And I'll get one more. And four. Oh, I keep it over here we go. Alrighty, let's see what we got. First one you got not unsuccessful plans. Second one you got is parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Ooh, okay. Okay. You also got desk. Pay attention to your work. Okay. There's gossip at your job. And you should accept valid criticism. Okay. Well, somebody here is, okay, so with the unsuccessful plans here in Paris, somebody here is gossiping about some type of plans falling through for you, and they're doing this at your job. There's gossip at your work. Mm -hmm. Either you are gossiping about something or somebody at your job, or somebody else is. And somebody is criticizing you. Someone's trying to spill some type of tea about you at your job. One second. Okay. All right. What's this? Honestly, you got some type of plans that are falling through for you. One second. So if you've been planning something, okay, please know that the plans are going to fall through. It's not going to come to fruition. And someone here is going to be gossiping about that at work. I don't know. You got major gossipers at work. Now you could be gossiping at your job or someone is gossiping about you at your work. Okay. We have the, um, ecclesi ecclesiastic. Okay. This is talking about the higher friend or like talking about secrets here. You're trying to keep some type of plans falling through a secret here, but someone is going to tell all your secrets. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. This is the secrets card. Be careful who you talk to. Ooh. Let's see, what is this parrot about? 
Show me the parrot. Thief. Someone's a liar. Okay. Whomever you're telling. Listen. Someone's a thief, a liar, and a cheat. Somebody here is going to gossip and say that you're cheating or that you're lying. And someone is going to be gossiping about all your fucking. Whomever you tell your secrets to. Like. All your secrets to outside of the if you trust that person, that's one thing. But if this if you do it at your job, somebody here is going to be telling all your secrets at work. So please be mindful of who you talk to at work. OK, pay attention to your work. Why is that here? OK, you're a sweetheart at your job and a lot of and somebody here doesn't like it. Someone doesn't like you at your work and someone's very jealous of you with a cup here. You should accept valid criticism. Somebody here is going to criticize you. And hopes to make you feel bad about yourself. Someone's hoping to criticize you to make you feel bad about yourself. Let's see what these secrets are. What is a secret? Secret unsuccessful plans. I feel like somebody, okay, you could be doing this or somebody else could be doing this. But be, please be mindful of gossip. Please be careful of any lies as well. Be careful of gossip that you engage in with as well. Because this person that you might be gossiping about somebody else at your job may be lying. What are these secrets? Show me the secrets. Show me the secrets. Someone is um, happy that somebody's... Someone is secretly happy that your plans are falling through for work. Somebody does not have your best intention at heart at your job. Somebody does not like you at your job. Period. What's this lie about? Let's show me the lie. Lover. Someone is claiming that you're cheating at your workplace and they're gossiping about it. You may, if you've told somebody at your workplace that you cheated on somebody or that you are, you've got a lover, they're going to tell your secret. It's a female for, uh, enemy. There's a female enemy here that's going to tell your secrets about a secret lover here, or they're going to lie and say you're cheating. At your workplace. They're going to talk about secrets. But it's a female enemy. Yeah. It's a female enemy. Meanwhile, you're trying to be a sweetheart at your job. Someone is hoping that you get criticized. Or someone's hope. Someone's like bullying you at your workplace. Or you're bullying somebody else. Now remember, roles can reverse. This could be you doing this. This could be a situation that you're directly involved in. That you're doing. You're gossiping about someone's um, deception. Someone could have red hair as well. Someone thinks that you're a pleasure seeker here. Someone thinks that you seek out uh, romantic partners for pleasure. That you're an attention whore. Or, yeah, attention hoe. Male or female doesn't matter. Okay, it's so at your workplace. Hope. Why is hope here? It's a young woman. Yeah, someone feels, someone thinks that you um, are too childish or you are too young to accept any form of criticism. You got a female enemy here that is wishing you bad, that's lying about you, saying that you're cheating. Someone is um, happy that your plans are falling through. Somebody here is spreading lies about you, having a, a, another lover, and it's a female. Someone also thinks that you are, you're only sweet because you want something or you're an attention seeker or you seek out pleasure that you're a player. There's a young woman here that wants to credit. They're hoping to be able to criticize you. What is this cheerfulness about? Why are we happy about plans falling through? Yeah. Somebody thinks that you have another lover and that your plans are going to fall through and they're hoping they're, they're happy that you don't. Someone hopes that you don't have love. Someone hopes that you don't get new love here. Okay. What's the female enemy? This person is very indecisive about what to do. This person is trying to block your growth and your process here. You've got a female enemy at work for damn sure. And you already know who this is. Do not, and I repeat, do not tell this person anything. Do not tell this person a damn thing about you. Keep your business to yourself. Because what, I, you know, like that game telephone. You like you tell one person one thing and then they go, they have to repeat it to the next person, the next person, the next person. And 
by the time it gets back around, it's a totally different story. That's what's happening. You're telling somebody at your job something. They're taking it, twisting it, adding lies to it, and telling everybody else. And by the time it gets back to you, it's a totally different story. It's somebody that you trust at your job, be careful of trusting people at your work because this person's a liar. They like to stir up trouble. Wise pleasure seeker here. This person might think, yeah, this person's saying that you're a hoe. Male or female doesn't matter. This person is going to talk about your business here at work. This is communication. This is fast communication. This person is going to tell everybody a lie based on a truth that you told them. And it's going to come back around to you. So do not tell anybody your business at your job. Do not. Do not. This person is trying to get you criticized and unliked at your job. Why is young woman here? Show me the intentions. Seven of Swords reverse. The truth will come out about this, though. The truth will come out. Someone may get caught red-handed gossiping about you at your job. Or you may get caught red-handed gossiping about somebody else at your job, calling them a hoe or a uh, attention whore or, or whatever. And so there's a you've got a female enemy around you, though. Show me the... Let me see. Show me the Ace of Cups. Yeah, if there's persons lying about you having new love. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they're a liar. To a swords reverse. This person wants to create a lot of conflict. They're playing mind games with you. It's a female enemy. Nope. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to have any movement forward here. In your career. So they're trying to basically like sabotage your work. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, you need to. This could be you. You're okay. You're going to be with a hangman here. That is your card. You're going to be setting the record straight with somebody. Revealing the truth. You're going to have to stand up for yourself because there's somebody here who um, does not have your best interest at heart here. Somebody that you're working with that you're telling shit to. Do not. I'm telling you, zip your lips. Zip your lips. Pisces, somebody here is talking shit. And they're adding their own narrative to it, their own opinion to it, and stating it as fact when it's just an opinion or an assumption, and it's getting around. You need to stop moving forward with communication with somebody. You need to pause and reveal the truth because you're set the record straight here. Someone is trying to cause fights here at your job between you and somebody else. Yeah, over love. Someone loves to create drama at the workplace. I feel like you know who this person is. Yeah, this is what they're thinking of. They're thinking of creating drama here. This person may be very giving or they might want to try to buy your affection or your friendship here. You need to pause before you accept anything from this person because they're not kind. They're, um, they're petty. They're two-faced. You're dealing with someone who's two-faced. Be careful of the company that you keep because you're dealing with someone who's two-faced. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Is there anything else? You're dealing with a two-faced person, Pisces. At your job. It's a female enemy. Let, let me see this female enemy. enemy. Show me the female enemy. enemy. Tell me more. Show me the female enemy. Tell me more. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's coming to your job that's a female enemy that's going to be talking shit about you. Or they're talking shit about you to people that you work with outside of work. They're insincere and they're petty. Very petty. Very defensive as well. Or you need to protect yourself from this person. Do not open your mouth to anybody at your job. Do not open your mouth to this person. This person is spreading lies and rumors and gossip about you. Either at your job or they talk to people from your workplace and they're spreading gossip. Protect yourself from this. You need to see something from a different perspective. You're not listening to your intuition here. You're being manipulated here. You need to pause before you reveal the truth. Okay? You're going to have to set the record straight here regarding the situation. What else, please? Yeah. You're, you, if you don't, you're, if, you, if, you keep, if you keep doing, if you keep talking to somebody about your shit, excuse me, they're going to keep twisting it. 
and adding their own narrative and making it seem like it's fact and spreading those rumors about you. And it's going to, it could bring you bad luck or losing your job. Yeah. Properly invest here. <coughs> Do not give this person any ammunition to use against you. Don't, don't tell them anything. Don't tell anybody at your job anything. Don't talk to you about other, don't talk about your problems with other people. Unless it's like a true best friend that you know will never say a damn word, will never say anything. Okay? All right, karma cards for Pisces. Karma cards for Pisces, okay. Out of control. Your actions are, are patterns are risky, impulsive, and reckless. You lack self-control in your life. You need to slow down and think before you speak and act. Also, quit bullshitting. Maybe it's you who's gossiping. You could be gossiping about somebody. It says half-hearted attempts get half-hearted results. Invest more time, energy, and willingness to change. Yeah, you got to change something that you've been out of control with. I feel like that's gossiping. If you're if you're the one who's gossiping, then you need to stop because it's gonna it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. What other guidance do we have for Pisces, please? It's gonna come back to bite you in the ass if you don't stop or someone else. Nature communication. I'm telling you, this is all about communication. Flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. You need to pay attention to water fairies. Okay, our our intuitive messages that you're getting from the elements because you're gonna get them. They want you to know that you're going to feel who you can't trust or someone's going to feel this about you. Okay, so if you're the one who's gossiping, you need to stop. Um, if you're the one who's being gossiped about, you need to stop opening your mouth to people that you that you know you shouldn't be talking to. Okay, that you know is just going to spread rumors. Or there is somebody, a fire sign, spreading rumors about you. What else for Pisces for guidance? Integrity, what I tell you. Align your actions so they... So, so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. Yeah. Stop the gossiping or stop, stop entertaining other people gossiping about other people. Don't entertain it. Don't sit there and try to get the tea. Okay. Cause remember that eventually that'll be done to you and don't be spreading rumors and don't be telling your business to other people. I mean, this is seriously a lot of gossip here, two faced person and plans falling through. Somebody's happy that your plans may fall through. Whatever that is. Let's see. Who could you be dealing with outside of the signs? I said. Let's see. A Capricorn. An Aries. A Leo. Yourself. Or another Pisces. A Libra. Or a Scorpio. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Well, Pisces, that has been your message. I hope that this helps you. Remember, closed lips. Um, loose lips sink ships, right? Remember that. And be careful of telling people your plans because they may fall through because of gossip. You got a two-faced person around you as well. Make sure that it's, you're not the two-faced person, Okay. Alrighty. Well, I hope this helps. Please like this video. Please comment if it resonates. Comment if it doesn't. Um, everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine and roles can be reversed. Um, Pisces, please, please keep your mouth closed. Don't entertain gossip. Don't gossip about others and keep your business to yourself. Seriously. Um, especially at your work because it's going to be, I feel like you got a female enemy at your job. This is your warning message. I hope this helps you. Um, please take care of yourself, Pisces. I love you. Until next time.